Welcome to the podcast. Today, we're diving deep into one of the significant weather phenomena in the Pacific, Typhoon Yagi. This storm impacted East Asia in 2018, but what made it so remarkable? Yeah, Yagi was a notable storm, especially since it wasn't as powerful as some other typhoons, but its path and timing caused some serious disruptions. It's fascinating because Yagi, named after the Japanese constellation Capricornus, was part of the busy 2018 Pacific typhoon season. Right. It was categorized as a severe tropical storm by the Japan Meteorological Agency. It reached its peak intensity with winds of around 100 kilometers per hour, which isn't the strongest by typhoon standards, but the damage it caused was still significant. Absolutely. It affected China the most, particularly Zhejiang province, leading to the evacuation of over 200,000 people. Even though Yagi made landfall as a relatively weaker typhoon, the flooding and heavy rains disrupted transportation and local infrastructure. And that's often what gets overlooked in storms like Yagi. It's not always about wind speed. Sometimes it's the rainfall and flooding that caused the most devastation. Exactly. And another interesting aspect was its interaction with the weather systems around it. After making landfall, Yagi weakened but continued to push moisture into northeastern China, which led to extended flooding. It's wild how these systems can travel so far and still have an impact, even as they weaken. The ripple effect of a storm like Yagi can extend beyond the immediate area of landfall. And let's not forget, the typhoon season in 2018 was particularly active. Yagi was the 14th named storm of the season. While it may not have been as destructive as some of the others, it reminds us of the cumulative impact of these storms. Exactly. And one of the key takeaways from storms like Yagi is the importance of preparedness, even for what might seem like a less intense typhoon. Definitely. So if you're living in a coastal area or an area prone to storms, always stay informed and be ready to act. Yagi may not have been a super typhoon, but it's a reminder that these weather systems need to be taken seriously. That's a great point to wrap up on. Thanks for joining us today as we explored Typhoon Yagi. If you want to learn more about storm patterns or other weather phenomena, be sure to tune in next time. Stay safe, everyone, and keep an eye on the sky.